Uncivilized Vitality Boxing Series, basic basics of boxing, mostly for fun at home. Watch the videos. We've gone over the singles and what constitutes uh, a punch in a boxing. We're giving you basic four. We did some uh, defensive uh, slip slaps and shields. We talked about what a combination is in a short video. Let my wife beat on me. And then um, we'll, we'll do, maybe I'll do like a second set of series. Where we do a little more um, detail, like on the footwork and the different angles, long and short rhythms, right? And uh, uh, asynchronous movement, trying to beat the time and all that. If, if everybody's interested, we get a lot of comments on this video series, we'll, we'll do some more. And then uh, maybe we'll show you how to use that for self-defense. Let's talk about heavy bag work. All right, heavy bag work is um, for developing uh, endurance, power, strength, things that boxers need. Um, not so much, you can work through your, your long and short rhythms and use your imagination to process hitting an opponent, but this is really to develop the endurance and uh, the, the fortitude, durability you need to actually punch. A couple ways you can do it, you can just go up and hit the bag, but this is made of, uh, hopefully the microphone pick it up, the canvas. Too much of this, too much of this, two or too long, and you're gonna rip the skin off your knuckles. So you need a pair of bag gloves. Where's my, yeah, toss me one of those, Ella. Nice. So this is my, well, it's not mine. This is Ella's bag glove. But uh, this is just a really light glove, usually like just a couple ounces, just to protect the skin on my knuckles when I'm hitting the bag, thank you. But since I forgot to bring my bag gloves this morning, I'm just gonna put on the, <laughs> the regular boxing gloves. This, plus this gives me the weight for working out. Now a couple things you don't want on the boxing heavy bag is, uh, well I'll tell you what to do first. So if you have a heavy bag and you hang it, you can't just start punching your bag, right, and get it swinging. Because now as the bag is swinging and I punch it, I've combined the force of my punch with the bag coming in and if I fold a wrist or if I hit the punch wrong, because remember I'm learning, if I make a mistake, it'll be more costly with the heavy bag swinging than if it stays still. If I'm working by myself and I work my jabs and the bag swings, I'll just stop it for a minute, right? You can work your singles on your bag for time. I can just work my jabs. Bag's got stars and a, and a tag, it's an Everlast. So I can focus on that. I can draw things on there. I can put a, a, a I get a photograph of Mark and put it on here, <laughs> right? So I can practice my jabs, my combinations. I can practice getting in close. I can practice moving back. Lots of things you can do as long as you stop from swinging. The best thing though, is if you have a partner, go straight places, is to have someone holding the heavy bag against me. So Mark's gonna just throw some jabs and rears He's just throwing his punches. I can keep the bag from swinging. Go ahead, keep it. And at the same time, I get a little practice because I can feel those. Not like the other video where my, my wife was punching me through the chest. Hold on, keep going. But Mark can practice on this and I can practice keeping the bag for him. Okay, we can stop. We can also work together. I can give Mark a couple combos. I can say jab, jab, and then when I say number two, you'll throw it. So he's throwing some jabs, jabs, right? And every now and then I'll throw number two. Yeah, and then Mark will switch and throw that too. Jab, 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 two. Then Mark can practice, jab, 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 two. Then I can move the bag around a little bit to Mark, Mark can change his position, staying square with me. Plus with my face back here, Mark can visualize, right? Where he's throwing the punches. Sorry, stop for a second. Uh, one thing you don't wanna do though is just like the, if you got your partner, you don't pick your little sister to come out and hold the bag for you because the bag is moving and it is heavy. Mark hits the bag. If my face is here, go ahead, hit it hard. All right, hit it hard. All right, the bag's gonna hit me in the face. Make sure your chains are tucked up. You're not holding your face right up against that. Can't tell you how many times in the last 30 years I've bitten my tongue because I'm saying something, hit me in the bag, hits. All right, so a heavy bag will give you a good workout. A couple things you can do, just go real light while you're moving. <clears throat> One. You practice in your ones and twos. Maybe Mark practices a one, two, three. Okay, so you get one, two, three, gets in close and throws a hook. Right? So you can get in there and throw some different punches. Mark and I could set a timer. I could throw out uh, some drills. Uh, if you're working solo, a lot of, uh, I'm pointing to the timer, you can't see it. Set a timer uh, on your phone or get a ring timer, uh, um, 
um, a round timer. 30 seconds, all right, I set a two minute round. For two minutes, I'm throwing jabs, all right? Throwing jabs, moving around. When I hear the things beep for the next 30 seconds, I start throwing my crosses or my rears, and then I go into hooks. Then the uppercuts on this bag are kind of hard to do. I usually just work shovel, little shovel, shovel hooks in lieu of that because we don't have an uh, uppercut bag. <clears throat> Timer goes two minutes. Ooh. Catch my breath. Timer beeps after a minute of rest. I go again. You set five two minute rounds with one minute rest in between. You got um, <clears throat> a good 10 minute workout hitting the bag. And then I would start at only two minute rounds until you develop the skin conditioning for it because Mark will tell you, even with the gloves on, if you haven't done that in a while, he hasn't done that in a bit, uh, knuckle skin's gonna get kind of sore. So get you a heavy bag. Don't be cheap. Hang on, don't, don't follow me. Don't be cheap. If you did get yourself um, a chest gear, a lot of people try to do this and hang that on the wall, right? <laughs> Don't do that. That's hard on the wrist. If it comes up loose as I throw the punch, oh no, now I've broken my hand, All right? So don't do that. Get a heavy bag. Go to one of those used sport, sporting goods stores, uh, play it against sports, whatever. Pick you up a nice heavy bag. Good place to get heavy bags are garage sales. People spend a lot of money on a heavy bag, work out with it for about a month, sits in the basement till they sell it. You can get a, a three, $400 heavy bag for five bucks if you search around. So heavy bags, great skill to have. You can work your singles, your combos on it. You can do it for time. And it will teach you to start delivering some power to your punches, right? Put some strength in there. Working the timer, give you some endurance. So, um, that's it for the basic series, I think. We can go on to a more advanced series. That's a dozen or so, 10 or 12 videos, just showing the basics of boxing. If we get enough comments and interest uh, over the boxing series, we'll start working on that and maybe some uh, boxing for uh, self-defense. So we could do another series where, I don't know why it's not moving, another series of boxing for self-defense or maybe even some judo throws. Um, maybe we get, Get some jujitsu uh, going down here or some, some uh, catch wrestling or uh, submission grappling. Different series, just really, really basic. So uh, the trolls, we try to ignore them. Obviously, this is not bo intended as boxing for a like, profession. Just for fun, for people to get, some, uh, get used to seeing what their body can do by throwing some basic punches with their upper body. So that's it. Like, share, subscribe. Thanks to Mark. Thanks, Carrie Ann. Ella for letting me use her glove. And uh, what am I forgetting? Notifications? I don't know. YouTube stuff. That's it.